The tongs are used to lift a 150 kilogram crate whose center of mass is at G. Determine the least coefficient of static friction at the pivot blocks so that the crate can be lifted. This is the second example for the friction main video. The links to that 10 minute video and the other 2 minute example videos are in the description below. Since the tongues are bringing up the crate, a free body diagram of the entire system would show us that P is equal to mg. At joint H, we can use the method of joints that we learned in a previous video, link below, to write a sum of forces in X to realize that the diagonal forces have the same magnitude, and a sum of forces in Y to find the magnitude of that diagonal force. With the force from H to E, we can draw a free body diagram of the left bracket where we see the reactions at pin C and the normal reaction from the box to the tongue at A together with the friction force, which is trying to push down together with the box, to write a sum of moments about C. N is found at 500, the friction force at 300, the Y component of FEH at 275, and the X component of FEH at 500. Substituting the value of FEH and substituting the friction force as mu n, we see that we need to find the magnitude of the normal force. With the free body diagram of the box, we can write the sum of forces in Y and substitute the friction force as mu n once again to find the system of two equations and two unknowns to solve for the normal and the friction coefficient. This is the coefficient of friction that would be needed for the box not to slip from the tongs. The links to the other 2 minute example videos and the 10 minute main lecture videos from the statics course are found in the description below. Thanks for watching.